Hello guys, okay, so I'm gonna be making a update guide on my Final Fantasy VIII mod tutorial that I had earlier, that I made last year, I think it was 2017, and this is gonna be an update on that guide, it's gonna include a, actually a new, going to include a new mod that wasn't added in my previous guide, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys all the new graphical mods for Final Fantasy VIII, and I'm gonna delete my old, my old guide. So the old guide had 10,000, 10,000 views or something like that. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delete, delete that guide since it's useless. Now that I'm gonna update it. All right. So in the description box, if you want to, make sure to use the the description box as a reference because I'm going to include timestamps in the description box where you'll be able to skip to different parts of the guide. All right, so part one of the guide is going to be installing Tonberry 2 Enhanced. So what I'm, I already downloaded it, it's right here. You'll need a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip or something to use to extract the files. So make sure you download a program like that. I'm using WinRAR as I just said. So to start the guide off, you're going to want to go to you're, you're gonna want to go to games and you're gonna want to go to Final Fantasy VIII and then go to discussions. Once you're at discussions, you're gonna be at a page that looks like this. It's gonna look like it's gonna go look like this. Final Fantasy. Um, actually, it'll look like this. It'll look like it's the Final Fantasy VIII form on, on Steam. So you'll want to go up to guides, click guides, and you'll have all this pop up. Now you want to go to FF8 Ultra Mods Guide, which is McInnes Mods Guide. It'll be able to take you to the official form once you click on the link. So the first one we're going to download is Tonberry 2 Enhanced. Let's click on that and it's going to open up the form. Now you're going to want to download the most recent version, download version 2.04. You're going to click on that and then you're going to you're going to hit the arrow where it says download and you're going to download the program which I already did. So I'm just going to minimize here and you're, then you're going to want to open it using a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now as you can see I'm using WinRAR so once you extract the files, I'm just going to extract them right here for now. And then I'm going to delete it. Okay. I'm going to click on it. So these are the files right here. What you want to do now is go to your Final Fantasy VIII program files where you installed Steam. So you go to, if you installed Steam in your C drive, go to your C drive, go to program files, and I'm going to open that mine up right now so I can show you guys. Okay, so I open up my folder here. And you want to go to your Steam folder. Uh, if I installed Steam folder in my data drive, but if you installed it in your C drive, it's mo the default, I believe, is, is a C drive. So look for C program files, unless you moved it somewhere else, and click on Steam. Then once you click on Steam, click Steam Apps, and then click Common, and then click on Final Fantasy VIII, because it's going to give you a list of your game folders. And you can have a, if you have more than one game, you'll see a bunch of different folders. But uh, click on the one that says Final Fantasy VIII, this is the, because this is the parent folder of the game. Now what we're going to do once we open up the parent folder here, is we're going to ex copy everything from the Tonberry to Enhance, and we're going to drag it into the parent folder, which I already did. As you can see, I have textures, I have Tonberry, and then I have all the other files in here as well. Now, now once you're done that, you're going to go back. All right, we're done. We're, we're now done with that page. Okay, so you want to open up Steam again. We have Tonberry Mod Enhanced Version 2.04 installed, so that's the first part. The next part is installing some of the updated graphics. So we have Seed Reborn. We have Project Eden, uh, Project Angel Wing. I I went with Project Eden. Uh, you can look at whichever one you want here. And there's Tripod. There's Battlefield Pack, Rebirth Flame. Horizon Pack, Project Hellfire, Apocalypse, and Lunar Cry. Tonberry, Hash Map. Okay, so these are the ones I downloaded. I have Apocalypse, I have I have Apocalypse, Battlefield Pack, Horizon Pack, Lunar Cry, Project Angel Wing, Project Hellfire, Rebirth Flame, Seed Reborn, and Tripod. Okay, those were the the uh, graphical upgrades that I downloaded. Okay, so once you download these uh these mods here, let's say if we download Battlefield pack, that would be battlefield pack underscore HM. You're gonna move the HM folder in here and you're gonna move where it says hash map. These are where all the HM folders go. 
all the obj files go on object map so you'll see like lunar cry underscore obj it goes on object map which is located all in tonberries okay so once you download the ma a map you're gonna get some files some of them might be hm files underscore hm some of them might be underscore obj and you're gonna get texture files like ba bc texture files you want to go to for texture files you want to go to textures and you want to put all of them all the texture files in here that you that you download from a certain mod they're, they're all gonna look like this they all look the exact same now this this one here is optional world uv texture patch this one here takes a little bit more work so you might not want to download this unless you're willing to put in some extra work basically for the world uv texture pack you download it from the here the file when you click on it through the steam form then you're gonna have to follow the instructions right over here okay so this guy tells you mechanist tells you that you're gonna need a hex edit program so if you so if you google hex edit you're gonna it's gonna bring up this program here which i have and that's the program you're gonna need to use to follow Mechanism's instructions. So if you think this might be a little bit too complicated for you, then just skip the world UV patcher and download something else. In my old guide, I showed you guys, I told you guys about all the HM, I told you guys about the OBJ files, and I told you guys about the hex edit for world UV patcher. Uh, the world UV patcher, and I also told you guys about the raw.exe to change the music in game to the original. Okay, so this is a new mod that I never included in my old in my old guide. So we're gonna click on FF8 reshade link and this is gonna take us to this form here. And what you're gonna wanna do is he tells you to download go to reshade.me so you wanna click that. And you're gonna have to download reshade the new version of reshade 3.401 at the time of this video. So download that. And now once you do that, you want to click download it here. That's going to download your reshade FF8 config. So I'm going to extract that here. And now I'm going to open up the folder. So here's what we have so far. We have Tonberry textures, we have shaders, we have reshade shaders, we have reshade FF... Oh wait, reshade FF8 is right here. What you want to do here is move your reshade FF8 folder here and move it right into the parent folder of Final Fantasy VIII where you have Tonberry textures and shaders and all that stuff. Once you do that, you're now and you've installed all the mods that you want with the hash map, the OBJ files, and the texture files. Once you're done all those, you've picked all the mods you want and you're happy with them. We're gonna now start the reshade process here. Now this is extra. You don't really have to do this. This is only if you want to mess around and try out different shaders for the game to see if it makes it look nicer for you. Okay, we're gonna have to open the reshade file that we downloaded from the reshade website and you're gonna have to go to OpenGL once we select the game so what you do is you select FF8 alright so what we do is you click on select game and go to FF8 dot on FF8 underscore English game that's gonna be located in your Steam apps Steam Steam apps common Final Fantasy 8 folder so make sure you click on FF8 underscore English or whatever language yours is and then it's going to say installing to Final Fantasy VIII for PC, blah, blah, blah. Then you want to click on OpenGL and it says, do you want to overwrite the existing installation? Because I already installed mine. But I want to click yes. Do you wish to download collection of standard effects from get yes? Okay, so it's downloading, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I've already installed on the ones that I need for the game. Now, for you, everything's going to be checkmarked. So what you want to do is uncheck all and make sure you only checkmark the ones I have, which are adaptive sharpen. If you want to try out different different ones, then that's up to you. But here's the ones I selected. Adaptive sharpen, bloom, color matrix, colorfulness, curves, denoise, FXAA, levels, luma sharpen, magic bloom, SMAA, uh, Technicolor 1 and Technicolor 2, both of them, Tone Map, Vibrance, and Vignette. Okay, once you do that, you want to select OK, and you want to edit reshade settings, and you want to select 
a dot 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 here you want to open up the reshade ff8 this is for presets and you want to select which quality you want i selected mega quality now don't select crt ignore crt just select either low medium high ultra or mega depending on how high of graphics you want and these two should already be set up for you the screenshot path you're gonna have to select the dot 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 again and you're gonna have to go to reshade ff8 and you're gonna have to open a screenshots folder and then once you open a screenshot folder then you have to select folder and that's gonna open up that path then you click performance mode and then you click skip tutorial and okay and that should be good to go now once you do that you and you've installed all your mods you've installed a reshade okay now the last thing you, the last thing you do is go to reshade ff8 and you're gonna have a texture folder here i already deleted mine you're gonna have to move that te texture actually i didn't delete it but you're gonna have to move that texture folder into this texture into sh into reshade shaders and it's gonna and it's gonna be right here you're gonna have to overwrite this texture folder with the one with the one inside reshade ff8 once you do that you're now ready to open the game so let me show you how reshade works i am going to open the game right now okay so i'm, I'm going to open up the game right now ff8 and i'm going to select play once you open up the game and you're ready you're going to go there. you're going to hit shift f2 shift f2 is going to open up this file all right so just select uh what ones you want and you'll notice that the game changes when you select stuff so i'm just going to select a bunch of random ones and we'll see how it looks okay magic blue no we don't want shit okay magic blue is good sma it didn't really look good. what the hell yeah you see you're gonna have to mess around until you get whatever looks good to you oh this kind of pops out okay so both those I'm going to tone it, I'm going to add vibrance, so I'm going to add this stuff. FXAA. Maybe bloom lens. Oh, that makes it too blurry, I feel. Luma sharpen. Okay, maybe now. Okay, so I'm just going to go with these settings here. So here's how my game looks now with the reshade. And what we're going to do is, we're going to get into a battle, and now I'm just going to show you Ultimicia for a little bit. So let's get this over with. I'm gonna fast forward it so it goes a little bit faster. Alright, we just want to get into battle here really quick. Just so I can show you guys, as you can see, the difference here. From the reshade that we just added to the game. Okay, now we're in a battle. And I'm just going to select a summon spell really quick, just to show you what a summon looks like. If I- Oh, I don't think I have summons equipped. Crap. But, uh, you can kind of get the idea anyways. But the summons have nicer effects to them. Okay, you'll just die. Selfie. Let's draw something for her so I can show you draw. Uh, I already have everything, I think. Nope. Stuck. Okay, so I'm just going to use Angel Wing with Renoa, then I'm going to heal Renoa if I can. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this play out for a little bit, and I'm gonna let you guys watch to give you to see what you guys think.
Okay, guys, so that's the f full guide on the mods, and you just seen what, what it looks like for yourself. Obviously, you're gonna have to mess around with it to see what looks, what looks good for you. I just did it really quick. So you'll be, probably be able to master it if you mess around with it. I haven't really mastered it because that was actually the first time I downloaded the reshade mod. I only, I only did it just to update my guide. So I haven't really experimented too much with it to get the best settings. But that's the full graphical mod guides. And there's also more guides on the page like FF8 harder mo hard mode and stuff like that as extras. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.